coach in the second half, you guys outshot them nine to one. Uh, was that the message at halftime? Like basically, hey, we need this is do or die, basically. Yeah, I didn't really say do or die, but I thought we had to play better in the second half. I thought we started the game well, and then there was the last 30 minutes of the half. They, TCU seemed to win the first balls, win second balls, win any physical confrontation, and uh, you can't be successful doing that. Uh, so we had talked about that at halftime. Like, if we're going to go down, it's not going to go down that way. We need to pick, you know, start winning balls in the air, start winning our tackles, start pressing a little more. Uh, because for 30 minutes there, we didn't really look like Arizona soccer. And I thought the second half we did. And as you mentioned, we outshot them, put them under a lot of pressure, scored two goals. It was definitely different in the second half. I mean, what does it say about this team? Another, like two weeks ago, it's almost the same exact result. You're down one nothing to Washington, you scored two late goals. Same thing happened tonight. This there just seems to be something about this team that you have you have that sometimes. So there are times I've gone into NCAA games uh, or you know any postseason game, whether it's conference tournaments and other places, and felt like we could win. Um, tonight I felt like we would win. Just the team would find a way. Uh, at after the game, the the team joked like, "Oh, we just wanted to give you some more gray hairs." But honestly, I felt like they were going to find a way to win the game, and so it it didn't it didn't stress me out in the second half. I felt like we were going to find a way to get it done because this team has had that so far this year, and uh, that belief goes a long way. In the beginning, did you get a sense at all that it felt like the games during the earlier part of the season were balls were hitting the crossbar, hitting the post a little too wide? You just couldn't find the equalizer. I felt like we were putting them – it didn't feel like earlier in the year. It felt more uh, like if we won headers, tackles, you know, started winning some of the physical stuff, uh, that a goal – we'd find a way to score, uh, the first goal, and then we'd figure it out from there. Uh, and I thought if we scored the first goal, we'd gain some momentum. Whereas in the early part of the year, it felt like, eh, I don't know how we're going to score, what this is going to look like. I felt like tonight and that down this last, you know, six – five, six weeks of the season that uh, if we do X, Y, and Z uh, that our team is built off of, then we'll get goals. And in the beginning part of the year, I, we didn't really have that. Um, after the first 20 minutes, it looked like they kind of figured things out. They yeah. Figured things out. And it what, how much of your changes at halftime were because of what you saw there? Well, we tried to change it at the end of the first half a little bit or tried, you know, we talked a lot about it at halftime tactically, all this stuff between the staff. And what it came down to, though, is we could talk tactics all for the next seven hours tonight. It, it, it didn't matter at that point if we weren't going to head tackle, win some of that stuff. And so the message became more about that than the tactical stuff. Um, but we did move Gabby more central. Uh, early uh, to start the second half, and that probably made a difference as well. Um, and and the, after that second goal, um, what were your instructions to the team? Well, I wanted everyone to take a deep breath because it felt like there were times when they were starting to they were starting to become a little anxious, and I just you know sent a message to the coaches and to the players to take a deep breath, and then we'd reorganize. So I was going to make a sub right when the goal went in to kind of reorganize the team, and I waited a few minutes just so everything could calm down. And then we the message was more about take a deep breath, calm down. Now we'll make the changes we need to make, and then manage the game and. The team knows how to do that, and they did a great job of it. Every goal that Sam has scored has been, go back to last year, it's been massive. I mean, what is it about her that she's able to come up big in those moments? Well, I think it's, you know, it's typically on set pieces, and she's good on corners, and that's why we move her up there. And uh, she's someone who will get on the end of things. And, you know, in her club career, she would do that too. She scored, uh, you know, off a corner in – in the finals of their national championship game and club. And she's just that kind of player who has that pedigree and is able to, to get on the end of things in the box in those key moments. And, uh, you know, she, she was able to come up big again tonight. Senior moment for Callie. I mean, the strike, I can't wait to watch it. I haven't seen it, but, um, you know, we brought her out for a few minutes before that just to regroup and take, uh, take some time to get her legs back. And I told her, just be aggressive when you get back out there in terms of going, you know, going for the goal, like attack the goal. And uh, that strike seemed unbelievable when it left her foot. So I'm looking forward to watch it. Can you tell us about going for as far as being the opponent, date, time, stuff like that? 
I don't know the res- final result, but at halftime, I know Florida State was winning. So I'm, I'm assuming they won at that point uh, and that we would play them at Stanford. Well, two years ago when we went there, it was the early game on the Friday uh, when we played Santa Clara. So I'm just totally assuming, not knowing anything, that it would possibly be the early game Friday. Yeah. I, I haven't watched them yet, uh, so I'd have to get back to you later this week when I watch more of what, what they're doing. Yeah. I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait, what'd you say? <laughs> you talked a lot about um, telling Gabby, or, uh, Callie to be more aggressive when she got back out on the field. Um, the game sort of had a Florida Gold Coast vibe to it um, until that second goal. What do you think? You know, do you think the mentality has shifted since then to more so that we can I think we learned from that game, Florida Gulf Coast, in terms of just, uh, I thought the last 20 minutes of the Florida Gulf Coast game, we came really, we became really frantic, pressing, anxious, like rushing everything. And I think we learned since then, like, that, that's not, we, we can be aggressive, we can attack the goal, but we still need to, to be calm in our approach. And I think we learned from that. Uh, along the way, and that's made a big difference in some of those tight games late. And you think about, like, BYU, uh, we scored in overtime and kind of had that approach. Um, The Washington game a few weeks ago, like, some of those things we've just learned along the way, and I think that played out tonight. Your overall level of confidence of your team on the road, how do you feel about them being on the road? Is it it something that you're comfortable with? Yeah, I mean, we had that stretch, the four ranked California schools in a row, and then we had three three road games in a row right after that. And uh, we pride our program on being able to, to get it done when maybe the conditions aren't perfect. And I don't, I don't worry about them. It's NCAA tournament. You know, we're going to play. Uh, you know, really, it's not a home game for Florida State either. Uh, so I, I would expect our team to be ready to go. expect certain things to happen in a Pac-12 game, and you expect a certain sort of team in a Pac-12 game. So what's it like now that you're probably not going to be playing any more Pac-12 teams? I mean, is, it, is there a coaching challenge? No, I mean, uh, we hope we hope we could play another Pac-12 team oh, yeah. because yeah, Stanford's yeah. the one seed, and if they keep winning and we keep winning, we'd face off against them. But I know I know what you're saying. And uh, one way it's really good because you're seeing different opponents, and uh, that's always a good experience for the players and the coaches. Um, but these days, everything is streamed and online, and vi- like everyone has video of everybody. So uh, it, it allows you – we'll be able to watch them and prepare just like we would anyone else. I can't speak for I can't really speak for them how confident they were, but I felt confident that we would get the tying goal and then regroup and figure it out from there. Um, and they that's that's a credit to them how they've made me feel this year. Like yeah, they're, they'll they'll figure this out. We'll we'll keep plugging away and get the goal. I haven't always had that with teams. I've had really good teams before, but maybe not had that uh, conviction in that they'll get the goal and. Uh, I think this team's made me, you know, really believe that they'll find ways to get it done in those moments. No, no great hairs, I, guess. <laughs> I didn't get them tonight, but I do have a bunch right here. But they didn't, they didn't add to it tonight. Um, you know, I just had, I just had a belief they would find a way. Coach, I think now you're three, three and two against the teams that are in the tournament. Um, can you just kind of talk about the difficulty of your schedule this season? It, it's tricky because sometimes you're, you look at the season and you worry about how hard the schedule can be as a coach. I think this year it really uh, toughened our team, hardened our team, whatever you want to say, uh, made us better. Um, and those games early on really made a difference as we got into Pac-12 play. Um, and I think early on you just have to find a way to, to win enough games or uh, not lose your team early. And I think how our staff managed that early uh, has really paid off this year. I think it's helped this year, um, and and like I just mentioned, I think our coaches have done a good job of 
sending the right messages after some of those tough games early on. Because uh, had we lost our mind in some of those tough early games that we didn't get a result, uh, it could have been a long season. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. It was so amazing. I mean, we were going down 1-0, um, and to be able to come back like that and play how we, us how we usually play was um, fantastic for us. Um, so what I saw is that um, uh, Gabby kicked a fantastic ball, and it came, and I think it hit off maybe Ken or somebody <laughs> in the middle, and then it was on the ground, and I just saw my opportunity, and so I took it and kicked it in the back of the net. <laughs> Actually, this time it was off my foot. <laughs> uh, Lainey, what did you see on their hold? Like, what kind of happened? Was there kind of a breakdown in the defense side of the Um, I think they were able to break us down. I know they had a pick, and then, I mean, it was a good ball in, and they just were able to get in behind us and had a good finish, so. Let's just go down the road, Cavaliers. <laughs> well, um, well, I, like, saw Sabs going down the line, and I kind of was on a weird angle to get the ball from her, so I kind of, like, stopped my run, and then got it to her a little bit, like, back from behind her, and then I saw it, no one was on me, and I saw, like, space to shoot it, and I just took the opportunity and knew we had nothing to lose at that point, and we had to get a goal to win it, so. Coach said you was pretty confident that you guys were going to get uh, at least one goal, and you didn't feel the same way, even when 15 minutes left in the game, you, had, you were still scoreless. Yeah, I mean, I think we had the momentum in this, like, from the beginning of the second half. Like, I think they only, like, Laney didn't really touch the ball that much in the beginning of the second half. And I think um, starting out with that momentum, like going into the second half, I think helped us throughout the whole half. And I think when we got the first goal, that continued to like get like, ha like had our hopes up and we knew that like it was going to come if we kept working hard. This, this may sound like a really silly question, but did their lack of size, was that at all kind of weird? I mean, just height, I don't know. It just seemed like they were a bit shorter. I mean, they still put up a fight, you yeah. know, they yeah. seem short, but they still were able to... They were strong and physical. Yeah. Definitely very aggressive, and it was a tough game. Kelly, you said on your goal you were able to find that pocket of space. Um, you know, deeper into the second half, you seemed, um, and the rest of your offense seemed to find more, um, you know, little pockets within their defense. What do you think you did differently or they did differently to allow you to find those pockets of space? Um, I think like moving, like people moving off the ball and making different runs kind of opens up space for other people to have opportunities. Even if like the person making the run doesn't get the ball, it can still help with creating those pockets for other people. And I think we did a good job at finding those. Lady, during the first half, you made a, like another really good save, and you kind of just like stopped and collected yourself. So what was going through your mind because they were coming at you a lot? <laughs> well, at that point, I kind of stopped just because I got drilled in the face actually with it. <laughs> So it's kind of me just trying to get my eyesight back, but uh, and then just let everybody get up to. I mean, at that point, but yeah, that's that was it. Um, for those last uh, eight or nine minutes when you guys were up two to one, uh, we talked to Tony about you know kind of his philosophy with the subs that came in. But I know in your case, when you're trying to organize the defense. I mean, what was sort of how how did you look at shutting? Um, we just need to not panic, and we need our backs to just stand every forward up that as they come. And then you just always have to make sure that everyone is marked at that point because you know they're going to be sending uh, numbers forward. And then, again, it's just not panicking and getting the ball forward and us also moving forward and not just sitting back. Did you guys at all get the sense of uh, games early in the season when balls were in the crossbar on the post? They were just like you guys, they were missing by inches. Did you guys at all get that vibe? Um, like, do you mean where like, we... Like, overall, like, did it feel like, man, is this really happening? Like, these were the uh, games earlier in the season where we couldn't get out a win because things weren't just going your way. No, because I think we were able to put, in the second half at that point, I think we were able to put the game in our hands. And when we started playing our game, we were able to get the momentum, like Callie was saying, and going forward. And we knew that uh, the more that we kept pressing forward and doing what we usually do, that it was eventually going to come. What's just the behind this team's ability to come back and get three two weeks ago is almost 
the same scenario when you scored twice against Washington, but then even last week in Texas, you scored when you took that game. What is it about this team you know, sort of, uh, that allows you guys to you know, just come back to like this? I think it's just having heart and knowing that uh, like we're going to give everything that we have to win the game and not just kind of – Oh, like they scored, so we're just gonna like we have no hope now. It's more of like now we're gonna get it done and we're gonna keep moving forward until we get the result that we want. Early in the second half, the game sort of had a uh, Florida Gulf Coast feel to it. Um, what was the biggest difference between this game and that game? <laughs> you can answer. <laughs> True. True. True, we did win. I think just the physicality part of it, that um, Florida Gulf Coast wasn't as physical as um, TCU. And <coughs> Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> oh, my God. Lost my train of thought. <laughs> um, oh, my gosh. I think we were, think we were <laughs> also so able much. to, like, finish our chances and, like, create more chances, where I think against Florida Gulf Coast, like, we had some chances, but it wasn't really, like, going our way and everything. And I think in this game we, like, didn't really give up with taking chances and, like, making runs and, like, I guess having heart throughout the entire game. So I think that really helped us, like, to win the game in the end. I think we really just dictated the game and how um, the end results were going to be. I think three of your goals, I think you have three career goals, I think all of them have been game winners. I mean, what, how do you, like, how are you, how are you able to come up big in those situations? Um, I mean, it's definitely not it's just all me. It's from, I mean, Callie and Gabby both play amazing balls, and I just make the right runs and, you know, find myself in the right space at the right time to be able to finish that. And it feels really good to be able to do something like that as I don't always get every opportunity to score <laughs> since it's not my position. But, um, yeah, I think it's all about just stepping up and, you know, finishing every chance that you can. For you guys personally, how long do you guys enjoy this week? Um, I mean, I think we can, like, enjoy it for, like, tonight and tomorrow. We have a day off, so I think it's, like, good to, like, take that in and stuff. But I think once practice starts and stuff, next week we need to start looking forward to our next opponent and their, like, a good game plan for that game. So I think, but, yeah. What's your uh, guys' level of, I guess, confidence being on the road away from quality? Is it still the same, or how do you guys approach that being about? Kind of basically throughout the term, you guys might be on the road for the yeah. game. I think, again, it just goes with uh, being confident in how we play and uh, knowing that each time, like, we're just going to have to play how we usually play and having confidence in that moving forward. Yeah, and I think we've had success on the road before, so that really isn't, like, a thing that's going to really hold us back. And I think it is nice, like, having the fans and everything, but our team and everything, like, keeps the spirit up as well, so. Coach said he, you guys told him that he purposely win games like that to give him great. Is that, is that actual? He always says yeah. that. So. Yeah. Like, but he said this stone. game this we game didn't we give did him gray it. hair because he had faith in us the whole time. So. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.